The U.S. dollar finished this past week up across the board against the developed currencies, though Friday's sell-off in the buck certainly should not go unnoticed and could be warning of more downside pressure in the U.S. dollar ahead. There wasn't a whole lot to assign to the Friday price action, with the only notable development coming from a resurgence in demand for the pound after President Trump denied reports of his harsh criticism of Theresa May, calling it fake news. Perhaps some weakness within Friday's U.S. economic data also didn't help help the buck's cause, though it really felt like the moves were driven off bigger picture macro flow and profit taking than anything else. Looking at today's calendar, trading conditions will be thinner in yen pairs with Japan out on holiday. The market will spend most of its time continuing to focus on all things politics and global trade, with a Trump-Putin meeting and more Brexit updates to be monitored. As far as the economic calendar goes, market participants will be digesting China GDP industrial production and retail sales before taking in Eurozone trade and then shifting gears to U.S. releases including retail sales, empire manufacturing, and business inventories. That's all for now.